Welcome to the SC2K show. This is Ron Moore along with J Man and Mexico. How's it going, guys? Hey, you. All right, so our first SC2K show in a little bit. Uh, I think this is Mexico's idea. Was it Ernest, your idea of uh, our favorite video game rentals? Yeah, favorite video game rentals. That was just something that I wanted to hear. Like, I, I thought it would be a good discussion. Yeah, that's a good idea. And some, some people, I forgot who it was, someone recently said, there's been people going back and listening to our old stuff. Because we've we get, been getting comments lately on our old uh, S2K shows. And someone said, man, these are good. I listen to these while I'm at work. When are you, going, when are you guys going to do another one? I was like, <laughs> I have no idea. Yeah, that's a good question. Um, I, I did say I'm done with LPs. Never said we were done with the S2K show. So I'm definitely open. Yeah, the S2K for, shows are awesome. Yeah, we can always continue to do those, but the thing is, what we're going to talk about. And uh, someone, um, my friend Demond, suggested uh, for my Rumbor channel to get even more views, more traffic, and accumulate more revenue. Why don't you do a podcast? And I'm like, that's a good idea. And I was going to name it the Rumbor Roundtable, and we'd talk about whatever with with whoever. But honestly, just don't have that much time to make it a consistent thing. But on S2K, whenever we do have time or have an idea, once we have a blue moon, well, we can do, still do that on the S2K channel. So this channel's not completely dead. We still do some things on it, not just reruns and stuff. But uh, live streams, if one of us feels like doing one, or premieres. I know, Ernest, you recently did a premiere of a, a pool game. Yep, I failed that. that the audio is just Yeah, you, you pulled a green oh. is what you did. Oh. You pulled a green. Was it green. No, it wasn't Minnesota. We did that a long time ago. Uh, Ernest, like a few, <laughs> like a three months ago, I we think. We did everything a long time ago. <laughs> well, I, I don't want you to think <laughs> that was... Everything just uh, Ernest did a pool game, what, three months ago? Yeah, it was for the PlayStation 3. I mean, the PlayStation 3 is old now, so... Yeah, and Val goes, get, get well, good with the audio, kid. I got it. Hey, I got I to gotta look up those videos yeah. online. <laughs> yeah. yeah uh, don't be a jerk. Don't be a green... Did you oh, test? Did you fuck. test this commentary before you released it? <laughs> um, yeah. We had to oh, test the audio before brother. we released this. Yeah, we had to do a lot of testing because we're using Skype because J Man doesn't want to use Discord, and I don't ever use Skype. But for J Man's sake, I'll compromise. All right, we'll do Skype when we don't do this that often. So, and then trying to get used to the settings of uh, this. How I had to switch to my headset mic, which I hate using because. You might hear me breathing like Darth Vader, and I hate that. And I got—I hate wearing a headset where it can be kind of uncomfortable. For when I do my live streams, I do my studio mic I got here. That's you know, stand-up mic, whatever you call it, uh, hands-free. I don't have to lean over like the old Bob Barker microphone I had years ago. And I don't have to wear this headset. Un uncomfortable in my head and my ears, and then you hear me breathing. And uh, I hate that. Um, but for this... Uh, we only do this stuff on S2K once every blue moon, and so we decided to do this again tonight. Uh, and I can't remember the last That's time. That's the level of dedication that you get from the S2K. Yep. Yeah. Oh, Skype yeah. gets a 10 out of a billion. <laughs> and <laughs> I don't even use Discord to record. I just I, use, I just use OBS when I stream. Uh, and so I don't Discord. I. <laughs> I don't like using Discord on my desktop. It takes it just takes up too much RAM, or just takes a long time to load and slows things down. I said, man, I, I don't ever use Discord on my phone. Whenever I message people, I texting. It's always on, it's always on my phone, not on my PC. It just slows things down, and or it takes a long time to load up. And I said, yeah, I don't even I don't even use Discord to record. It's causing I th the word Discord is in the Bible. It sows discord among brethren, which means stir stir stuff up and cause dissension. So it means it's go, great history lesson. Yeah, <laughs> well, the word discord is in the Bible, so it uh, you know maybe we should use it. And no, not for uh, at least not for uh, recording. What? Even though I probably would rather use it to record because Skype made things difficult for me, and it's just so stupid. Like I, I muted J Man for a second so I can listen to the. Uh, audio file testing, but I could not unmute him. He had to unmute himself. That was stupid. It's just ridiculous. Yeah, but let's go ahead and talk about why we're here. 
Um, you host it, Ronnie. Yeah, 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 Bear. That's over. Oh, well, it's because we love you all. That's why we're here. Yeah. And, <laughs> uh, yeah, there's a big demand for us to come back. Not really. But um, there's people that's been listening to our old stuff and saying, man, these are, you know, this is good stuff to listen to. Uh, and then I forgot who it was. I had to go back asking when we're going to do another one. And I said, well, actually, uh, we may do one here real soon. And I was thinking about this one. The schedule conflicts were well, me. My live streaming, quote unquote, schedule, which is not consistent. Um, you know, I like to do my live streams uh, as more of a full time hobby. So when it comes to SC2K stuff, uh, that's why you don't really see much of anything on this channel anymore because, well, we all have moved on and done other things. Um, and even because uh, in the last few years, it was mainly me doing Let's Plays, but that's done with, done and over with. And live streams, yeah, like so I said, be part of that. Yeah, and like I said, with live streams, I've rarely ever live stream on here uh, because I a lot of my free time, four or five days out of the week, if I can, I do my uh, streaming projects on my Raw More channel. And as far as SC two K shows, uh, we just have to. I mean, what what can we talk about that hasn't been talked about? I know if we had like a rest a weekly wrestling show, there would always be something to talk about. Um, or video game stuff like I, I wouldn't know what to talk about with that because I'm not used to keeping up with video game news as I am wrestling news. But and Mexico came up with a good idea to talk about our favorite video game rentals when we were a kid. And some of you youngins that are listening were not around during that era, so you won't probably uh, understand or appreciate that era. Uh, but yeah, you will never about that. But me, J-Man, well, Mexico's not that much younger than us, but I think it's his idea, so I guess he was around back then. Um, uh, video game rentals, and would it be good or bad? I, I want to talk about the bad ones just to make fun of them. Uh, I guess I could start off right off the bat. A bad memory I have of video game rentals was the weekend. Some, was some weekends I would spend the weekend with my dad, and we would rent a game, and... I rented Roger Rabbit for the NES. Oh my god! And uh, yeah, I uh, did not enjoy that to say the least. But first of all, the password system is probably longer than Metroid's, if I remember. It was pretty long, ridiculous. Um, and I mean, I don't remember too much about it exactly. I just remember playing the game, not enjoying it. And uh, I actually played again. Uh, or excuse me, that was Skip Rogers that played it, not me. Um, when I did footage, <laughs> did the footage four years ago. Um, and yeah, I, of course that review was not long at all because I didn't want to deal with that game at all. Uh, a cool rabbit game to play, by the way, would be Bucky O'Hare, even though it's hard, uh, ridiculously hard. Great game. Bucky O'Hare, great, but man, it's kicking my butt. I've been doing some blind runs of it on Twitch. It is kicking my butt. But it's I gotta check that out. Much better than Roger <laughs> Rabbit. I'd rather deal with Bucky O'Hare than Roger Rabbit. Uh, well, of course, it's Konami. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, Bucky O'Hare's a great game. Uh, Roger Rabbit, if you're going to be a, a hard game, you better be great. Like Metroid, Ninja Gaiden, uh, hard games, but they're great. Uh, Roger Rabbit was not. So, no. um, yeah, it just, I don't even remember much of the movie. I remember, uh, I haven't seen the movie in forever, so I don't really know much about it. I have to watch it again. And Roger Rabbit, and I know I just said I haven't played much of it. Uh, I haven't played it in years and years. If I were to go back, would I enjoy it today? If I gave it a second chance? No. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I, I don't feel like I would. I can answer that, no. And so, uh, I mean, it was... And there's a reason why we probably never touched it here on the SC2K. It's funny. I, I would, I'd record Barbie on SC2K, but I would not record Roger Rabbit. Now, what does that say? Does that say Roger Rabbit is that bad? Well, I, I think. I dare you to play Roger Rabbit. <laughs> well, Ro well, Barbie was it. We did it for the lols. Roger Rabbit. It was. I mean, you know, it wouldn't have been lulzy, I guess, and that's why neither one of us wanted to touch it. I, I never even thought about playing that game for S2K. I don't know about you guys. I never, that, that thought never even crossed my mind to play no, Roger Rabbit. That, that would be like for the aneurysm. Yeah. 
<laughs> it was just not fun at all. It was it was garbage. When I watched ABGN's review of it in 2006, and whenever he did it, I was like, "Yep, that sounds about right." I remember not having good times with that game at Driving all. Driving in a circle. Yeah, and uh, there goes your weekend, Ronnie, for that video game rental. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, my dad paid for it, but still, that that was my weekend, You're right? Like what ABGN said. Um, that's that, it. That was your uh-huh. weekend. You usually only get one game to rent, uh, not two, yeah. not more than that. Um, and I remember, yeah, you had to pick one, and and uh, that was your game for the weekend. You better make the most of it. And there was not, there was some not so good weekends as a result of that. So that's just one game rental that I remember off the top of my head. Uh, J Man, what about you? Oh well, I got the greatest one ever. Oh, you're gonna you're gonna love this so much. Dino Wars. Ah, uh, okay. Hello, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I remember that we did that on S2K. Yeah, of course, I'm kidding. But <laughs> oh, oh, I thought you were for real. <laughs> no, you didn't no. rent that back then. Oh, I, I... Suck that. But really, I did enjoy it as a, as a child. Oh, okay, I I really did. Um, now part of that, I can totally say is, hey, that's your weekend. You better make the best of it. Yeah, Definitely. this is better than doing homework. Yeah. <laughs> but uh hey. no, really, um I, I will give my uh my best rental ever. Maniac Mansion. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna talk about game. that. It's the first game that I ever did on YouTube. I love that fucking game. I have the NES cartridge. I don't have a Nintendo. Well, okay, that works. But I, I have the <laughs> cartridge. <laughs> oh, also um, well, I got to look the, the guy's, uh, channel up, uh, but I'm going to give the guy a, a, a shot out, <laughs> a shot out, um, but I'll, I'll do it later. I don't, I don't want to interrupt things and have like a bunch of dead air or whatever. So that's cool. Yeah. Hey, there we go. Yeah. yeah I remember you, uh, uh, was that one of your first videos you ever did on YouTube? The first. Okay. It actually got taken down. Um, yeah, I remember. By, that, I remember that story. Uh, yeah, Max Three's homies. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, I remember that. But I surprisingly, surprisingly, did not do that on S Two K. Uh, well, here's the thing: is that well, I didn't actually didn't think about it. I mean, not, Never that, not that it's too late. I'm I'm done with LPs, but you guys are still more than welcome to. Uh, I retired before you did. Okay. Well, you well you <laughs> made a, you made a. <laughs> You, you retired, but I think you still made like very uh, sporadic, rare appearances, like Ducktales. Uh, yeah. And uh, but well, but okay, as far as making LPs, I guess LP that's what history. you mean. What's that? I mean, my <laughs> I did like what four things, maybe. <laughs> in, well, in let's see: Donkey Kong Country, Dino Wars, uh, Ghouls and Ghosts. Um, I think you did a few more. So maybe I guess you did. Donkey Kong Country was what, like eight months? It was. Yeah. It was a crib. <laughs> well, I mean, my my Ocarina of Time LP on Ron Moore Channel last what, uh, two years or so, uh, longer, probably. But that was like eighty parts. Yeah. Hey. Um. Oh. And, but yeah. Uh. But yeah. But as far as you actually doing LPs, I guess you stopped that in 2010, did you? Uh. Well. Yeah. Uh. Uh, uh, that's when I started capturing other footage, um, you okay. know, like uh, Night Trap. Uh, and oh yeah, yeah, that's right. He did Night Trap. That's another one he did. I I listened to that recently. Let's make fun of Night Trap. Um, yeah. yeah. Oh man. Oh, and you <laughs> called me like the the, the little fourteen year old boy yeah, in the, that the, uh, <laughs> uh, ten year old J man walking around yeah. in there. Um, and the dude brushing his teeth, walking around. Yeah, the Slater reject. That was so stupid. Who walks around <laughs> brushing their teeth while hanging out with people? I mean, like, and it's not even like they're, it's like a family at home, like a husband and wife and a child talking at home. This was like they were out to someone's strangers. house with other women and uh, st- complete strangers or whatever, walking around. Hey, guys, how's it going? Not even get ready for work. Got out of the shower, fully clothed and everything. Walking in the kitchen, brushing teeth. Is, is that supposed to be cool back then? Was I, that? I guess I, it's important to get the hell out of there. I will <laughs> tell you this, um, related to the rental thing. 
Um, I do remember back at Blockbuster, you could rent uh, like a Sega Genesis and Sega CD and then games. Huh. And you could like put down expensive. a deposit. Oh, um, yeah, I remember that. And yeah, same thing for Super Nintendo and Nintendo as well. Um, you put down a deposit and you could rent it for a certain period of time. Yeah, that was, that was pretty. Cool. When I was a kid, I wanted I, that. I, I wanted to rent. I, I wanted to rent an SNES so bad, but as a kid, I didn't have seventy something dollars. I forgot how much it was. Maybe not that much, but I, I forgot it was quite a bit to where, as a kid, and you know, let me live with my mom at the time, and my grandparents are not going to fork over the money that were like taking care of us as far as bills go. And I was not living with my dad. Now, even my dad probably would not rent a system for the weekend. Um, hey. He's talking about kid yeah. <laughs> which was exactly. kind of a blessing in disguise because that protected me from ever playing action 52 because there's no way he was gonna fork over 200 dollars for that yeah that's your year yeah that's your year did we say that before when we were talking about i forgot what yes <laughs> birthday holidays about, everything uh worst video games ever yeah, podcast everything. or whatever we did and um well i don't know if y'all heard that but uh no i, I just got okay Okay, I'm I'm on OBS recording, right? So as a live streamer, my alerts on Streamlabs is enabled. So I just got a new subscription. <laughs> Someone just subscribed to me on YouTube and just let me know in the middle of this recording. Oh well, that's nice. Said, it said Pedro something. Or, or, if you happen to be listening to SC2K <laughs> show later, thank you for your subscription. Um, but yeah, I just say effort. You know, well, well, if I get an alert notifying me that I'm that I got a new follower or whatever. Hey, right, cool, cool, cool. But um, yeah, we you had mentioned uh, Action Fifty Two. That was your whole year. Okay, son, are you sure about this? Yeah, Dad, it looks cool. Look at that, Fifty Two games in one. Please, Daddy, please buy it for me. Okay, son, this is your year. Birthday, Christmas, everything. Buy it, take it home, play it. Oh boy. <laughs> Could you imagine the disappointment? That had to have happened to somebody though in real life. Unless Seriously. unless there was a return policy, you're okay. If not, yeah, right. You're effed. Uh, so but anyway, uh, think I don't think could you even rent that back then? If you could rent it, was it more expensive than a normal rental? I would imagine. Uh, oh man, I, I I I probably the rental stores were like, nah, we're good. Yeah, I never even that heard it. I've sense. never seen or heard That's that it. game ever in my life until like I was downloading ROMs and going through the list of every NES game made. I'm like, what the heck is Action 52? So I've never ever heard of it. I don't know about you guys. I never heard of it back then. I'll tell you what the Jan. rental stores were down with Super Mario Brothers 3. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they were down oh. with that. They were down with that. They were down with... Turtles in Time, uh, Streets of Rage Dude. 2, man, NBA Jam. If you're not down with that, we got two words for you. Yeah. Mario 3 was freaking hard to find. Of course, it's yeah. Mario 3. But I got lucky and played over a friend's house first, and then I got it for Christmas. So, oh. Yeah. Love oh, it. damn you. <laughs> yeah, That's I got Mario 3 That's for fun. Christmas. My uncle, may he rest in peace, uh, he, he uh, bought it for me. And he tricked me. I told that story before where uh, he uh, uh, he said, all right, now, Ronnie, these are a pair of socks. It, it, the way it was wrapped up, you know, yeah, these yeah, are a pair yeah. of socks. I want you, and, I, and he's like, these socks are very important. <laughs> um, so uh, make sure you take care of these socks, okay, or something like that. He was trying to build it up, hype it up to where it's important. Here's your gift. And I'm thinking, okay, in my head, I'm like, really? Thanks. Socks. But, of course, I'm not going to verbally say, Really? That's stupid, or whatever. I just had to like, uh, just you know, kind of like when you, your grandma gives you a sweater for Christmas. Oh, gee, thanks, grandma. What are you gonna do? Wrong Say no. Too. This is stupid. <laughs> so, open it up, and oh boy, Mario three. Right, he really got me with that. One of the best Christmases ever. The way he surprised me, and I got to play Mario three. Let's go. That's um, the way you do that. <laughs> I, and we'll speak it real quick before I pass it on to. I don't know, J-Man, if you have more to say about ECW Mansion, go ahead. Uh, I'm, I'm still looking up the name of the, uh, yeah. Okay. Um, let's give Mexico a go. go. Well, I was going to say before he, go, he, go, he goes to that, speaking of Mario 3, you guys remember my story of when my dad did rent 
Mario 3 for me one time. I was already sick, not feeling good, nauseous. And it, I got in the truck when he picked me up. Oh, cool, you rented Mario 3? Yep, all right, nice, yeah. And then, like, not long after that, I got sick and threw up. <laughs> and uh, he, uh, after that, he, he pulled over, let me finish throwing up. I threw up in his truck and feel bad about that. But, you know, thankfully he didn't yell at me, I guess, because, you know, he knew I was sick. But still, like. <laughs> yeah, my dad would have. <laughs> yeah. I mean, so, I, like, but I, I he pulled over, I finished throwing up, and he goes, uh, uh, you got a little excited about Mario 3 there, did you? <laughs> so I don't know if, like, I got too emotionally excited. Yeah, all right, Mario 3, let's go. Man, <laughs> Just, <laughs> I guess I, got, I, I don't know. He probably have joking about that. I was probably going to throw up anyway, but maybe because I was so, um, I was visibly excited that it might have, I don't know, aggravated my stomach. I don't know. what. But it was funny. Yeah, Mario 3, yeah. <laughs> Reminds me of the episode of Beavis and Butthead, that guy comes out of that porta potty. Rock and roll! <laughs> yeah, that's got to be a podcast someday. And Beavis and Butthead <laughs> goes, yeah, I think that was the other idea. Was it yours or Ravenous Spectre or someone or, or J-Man? Favorite episode it of Be- Beavis and Butthead podcast. Gen 2's? It probably was Gen 2's, yeah. So, yeah, because I remember that was on the best of ST2K, right? It might have been, and I uh, I said maybe one day. So if you, those of you who are listening who want more of these shows, maybe that's another possibility soon. Favorite? We actually tried that one, um, and of course Nico didn't show up. Uh, oh my god, I actually said Nico. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> big surprise. Um, and then I thought it was a stupid idea, but you said eh, maybe not. So uh, potential future. Yeah, still a possibility. We did a beast about a video game LP commentary that was fun um <laughs> but which by the way nico well i got it right too uh nico was going to be in the show but something happened uh he just could not make it uh, so disappointing because well he did say that he would not have much to add because i think he's he was too young for that stuff for rentals by the time he got older uh well i mean he was yeah. born in it was born rentals in 90, well, he was born in 93 when did rentals start dying out like ninety three. <laughs> well, no, I remember my ninety three. I ran in Mortal Kombat. Um, no, no, it didn't die, die in ninety three. I because I my ninety four, ninety five. I was still renting. But I rented games for the Dreamcast, but that was like early two thousand. So that was the last time I rented a game. Okay, good, good point on on both parts because now, as I recall, I rented PlayStation two games. Ah, so. oh, and so but yeah. but we got. Uh, I mean, he was born ninety three, but he maybe just didn't. Uh, wasn't one of those kids that got to rent often. I don't know. He wouldn't have anything much to add anyway, but uh, we just still Did wanted to Karen have... Feed him. Do what? Just sit in the back, we guy, while we record this <laughs> podcast. We, we just wanted to have Nico in the show. It was J-Man's idea, actually. My original yes. idea of to have... Well, Mexico came up with the idea, and then so me, Mexico, and I thought, well, we, we got to have J-Man. Um, I think J- J-Man would definitely add to this. He's my age, so he's definitely around back then. Um and yeah, uh, so okay, so uh, Ernest, should, should I call you Ernest by now? I've known you for years. Sure, uh, we'll go with that. Like, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if that'd be rude um, to ask. Oh, oh, like, okay, real, real, real quick. My bad, to interrupt. But um, I found the name. It's Captain Shrimpy. Captain Shooky. I'll, I'll, I'll put it in the uh, yeah. I'll, Put in the details or whatever. Now, what was that reference to again? A YouTuber? Yeah, Maniac Mansion. This guy oh. broke this game okay. seven ways on Sunday. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um. So, Ernest, uh, go ahead and tell us your uh, video game rental stories. All right. Um, I'm I'm not that far behind you guys, but my video game rentals did start with uh, the Nintendo, so that was... A lot of good games there uh one in particular that was like really good was uh or was not so good i'll start with the bad actually it was um uh and it wasn't action 52 folks don't worry about that that wasn't an, oh, an option <laughs> no but it was um dang it i'm trying to remember the na- name of it it was um it was a simpsons game it was the one i, I think j-man did it on his channel or whatever where i know avg space did the, huh space mutants yeah, that one. It was that one. I rented that one, and yeah, I was younger at the yeah. time, and I had a lot of trouble with that game, and it, I just got frustrated with it, and 
man, I was like, I would play it, and then I was like, all right, I kept dying, continue. I, I, I guess I didn't get good at that time, so I kept seeing the continue screen or game over, so huh. that game was hard. Yeah, see that screen often, Ernest? Always, uh, always, Val's even comment. in my nightmares. Val's comment recently. <laughs> Familiar with I that screen? You, with that game, um, I, I, I rendered it um, as well. Uh, Nintendo Power. Ah, uh, Nintendo Power. Because they had like the full, like first stage, like layout in in the magazine. Magazine. Yeah. Yeah, that would be helpful. <laughs> no, that was one of the rentals. And the fighter on the receive stage. Simulators. Yay. Oh, that's nice now, yeah. I would have killed for that back then. Instead of the long passwords, or if games even had that, are you, oh no, you just have to beat the game all the way through in one sitting. Uh, not going to happen. Well, I guess I can leave my NES on for like two days or something. You had to do that <laughs> with Earthworm Jim. There was no password setting or anything, I think, for that game, if I remember correctly. Kids will never understand this. And people were not today. happy with that. Mario 3 had did not have a save. I mean, All-Stars did, but not the yeah. original. I think it was the oh, same yeah. thing with a Cyanax on the uh, NES. Cyrax? I never heard of that. You've heard of it. Cyanide, what? Uh, Astianix. Cyanax. Ast oh, Astianix. That was a... I came close uh, to streaming. Okay. I, I might stream that in the future. Uh, it was one of the NES fans' game of the week. For those that don't know, I... On Facebook, I know. Boo, Facebook. Um, I'm one of the administrators <laughs> of... The NES fans Facebook page, which is a pretty big page, and uh, I in in return I promote their page and stream usually or sometimes stream the game of the week chosen on that page, and uh, I promote their page and then they let me post my stream on their page, so it's a cross promotion thing. Um, I was going to stream Astyanx or uh, Anthrax, whatever it's called, and I just. Kind of never got around to it, but it's still like in my uh, uh, backlog was list of uh, games I do still plan to stream. Like on YouTube, um, I have a list of streams scheduled, quote unquote, but they're unlisted. And they stay hidden and unlisted to remind me, all right, what's next on the list? Oh, yeah, now I've been meaning to stream this for six months. Let me get around to it, <laughs> which is why I don't schedule streams officially because I just don't, I'm inconsistent with that with life and work. And stuff, but yeah, Ask the Annex. I was that's on my list to stream sometime down the road, and I've never played before. It's a great game, but it's hard as fuck. Uh, ha, ha, what was the one I streamed a while back? Swordmaster for NES. Have y'all heard of that? Yes, I have. Yeah, I, I still need to get to playing to it. It seemed all right, decent game. Music's pretty cool. Dun, 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 ECW. Dun, 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 okay, dun, thank you, Nico, dun, dun. for reminding us about the music. Yeah, uh, uh, Neoko Kodoka uh, did that. Uh, Tim Follin also. Uh, in 1979, uh, Nikola Tesla did... No. Uh, anyway. Um, all right, yeah, so uh, what, what game was that again? Uh, Mexico uh, spa Space... Uh, not Space Pirates. Um, <laughs> oh, God, <laughs> I definitely wouldn't rent that. <laughs> space Pirates for... Uh, what was that one? Uh, Jeff did that LP for what, Sega oh, CD. Oh, that was... Yep. Something that game was pirated. That was just ah. ridiculous. But anyway, um, all right. I guess uh, my turn. Uh, oh, another bad one. Uh, geez. Uh, let's just say I don't want to. Uh, I wish I could not. Uh, I don't want to totally recall this game. But I'm gonna have ah. to. <clears throat> oh, gotcha. Man. Yeah. Uh, total Recall. Uh, total Ugh. BS. Um, I totally wish I hadn't played that game. Um, that was a letdown too. I mean, Total Freaking Recall. The movie was great. Oh man, the video game. Let's get it. Yeah, and then no. It's <laughs> like, oh goodness. I like, Total Recall was. I was one of the uh kids that disappointed kids that rented that game, and that's my re weekend right there. I did not enjoy it at all. No, um, you get the one part where you're trying to escape at your your wife's trying to kill you and you try to escape and that guy's at the door. I could not I know how to do it now, but like at the time, like you know, you got Paul Heyman shooting at me at the front door. I can't escape unless I you know I might die. And uh, it was just uh, and then the rest of the game not very playable. At least uh, some of it really did. I think it really did stick to the movie if I remember correctly, as far as storyline at least. But it was 
definitely not fun. The music was complete garbage. You had you had to dodge these uh, glory hole attacks or whatever it was, uh, this fence and just uh, it, oh, yeah. so stupid. The game. I got I Go got ahead. two things to say about that game. Uh, number one, it was so much fun to completely shit on later on the yes. Mr. Billy Mr. Channel. Uh, and two, I would have never passed the first level if it wasn't for Brown Nose Zero Nine. I mean, Black Rose Zero Nine. Brown Nose Zero Nine. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I remember. Uh, um, yeah, Skip Rogers not enjoying that game either, really. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, and there's a reason why we never did that on S2K. Yeah, I don't yeah, think. Cause it's a piece of fucking shit. Yeah. Yeah. All right, J Man. Uh, let's see here. Um, okay, well, I'm going to go back and I'm going to say that my favorite, favorite, the J-Man's drunk. What up? Uh, nothing changed. Okay, but anyways, uh, yeah, going back to like uh, 1990, my favorite rental store was Red Giraffe. And I know nobody's heard about it. Um, and that's only because Mr. Video shut down. Damn it. I was thinking that. So what happened to Mr. Video? Oh, but okay. Uh, That's what happened to Mr. Video was Red Giraffe. Okay. Um, anyways, uh, let's see here. Pass. No, I'll, I'll, I'll think of something. Um, Zach Sanderton. Yes. I didn't get anywhere. Like, okay. Uh, I, I think it's an unfair comparison to um, what I did as a kid and what I've seen on YouTube. Yeah. Because you got speed runs and shit. And it's like, well, I didn't figure out any of this shit. What the fuck? What's the deal with Why it? Are we getting... It wasn't a re-rental, you know, like Ninja Gaiden 2 or, of course, Super Mario Brothers 3. Hell, Super Mario Brothers 2. I rented the fuck out of that one. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Oh, yes. Let me piggyback off of that. Uh, Fazanadu. When I was a kid, I thought it was Faxanadu. I couldn't say it right. Um, but, yeah, Fazanadu, uh, that was a, a a good rental when I was a kid. I looked at it. It reminded me of Zelda because the cover. And Okay, so um, uh, just, to, just to bounce off that, is it Ryu or Ryu for Ninja Guy? Ryu. As a kid? Ryu. Oh, no. Oh, as a kid, it was Ryu. I thought you meant technically. How is it pronounced? No, it, yes. Now as a kid, it was Ryu. Yes. A lot of us got it's names wrong. Ryu for me. Yeah, Ryu. I still get them wrong. I used to say, <laughs> I used to say Guile instead of Guile. <laughs> and I used to say Dawson Gooly. instead of Dawson. Gooly. 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 Yeah. <laughs> um, so uh, this girl said Bisson. Who is that? M. Bisson? I'm like, no, Bison. <laughs> and we all said Saget. We were kids. Yep. I used to get Bob, Bob Saget. Saget. Yeah. Bob Saget. Yeah. Bob Saget. Rest in peace. peace. Um, yeah. And, but yeah, Fazana, dude, that was a, I, when I was a kid, got destroyed. Even today, I can't get that far in it without cheating. Um, and back then, I just definitely did not know much. But it was but it was, it was, was a good game. The good music, I think, is underrated. We had fun on the S2K channel with that game. I cheated my way through that. Even while cheating, it was still hard because of where to go and yeah. uh, just. Well, yeah, you got a fucking fork as a weapon. What the hell? Well, that's how you. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, you, this has some upgrades and stuff, and uh, it, it was for what it was a good adventure game. Uh, but I did stream it legit, not beat it legit, but streamed it legit a few months ago when NES fans was featuring it, and uh, man, I was just getting my butt handed to me in that game uh but it was a fun game and the soundtrack is sweet uh very underrated in my opinion yeah. and that was a fun that was a fun rental uh back then yeah, yeah. all right what do you say mexico <laughs> 10 out of a billion I'm <laughs> now um let's see uh next rental let's see uh first of all i like to say i enjoyed the uh um local video stores a lot more than i did like the blockbusters and whatever major ones and all that because the local ones were the ones that i always went to um definitely a game i shouldn't have rented as a kid but 
I guess they were more lenient back then, or the store didn't care. They're like, hey, we're making a sale, but uh, Mortal Kombat 2 for the Super Nintendo. Oh, cool. Oh, God. That was a good one. That's the one where they had the blood. Yeah. Gave you a blood code. Oh, yeah. Now, uh, was that the Genesis or was that the... You said Mortal Kombat 2. No, one on Super Nintendo that, that had no blood. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that was the first one. I got the second one. For what uh, system? Uh, the Super Nintendo, Mortal Kombat 2. That was a good rental for the weekend. Oh, that oh was... yeah, I bet. I got it for my birthday. Other than when I got to like the Shang Tsung and Kataro forearms or whatever, and he kicked my butt, and I was just getting to the point where I was getting frustrated. Not to mention at the time, too, I lived... Um, uh, our, my uncle lived with us or whatever, so... When I wasn't playing the game, he decided to take over and play. And he beat it. And I was like, how did you beat it? I, I, I've been playing this game nonstop. And then he would just be with the Baraka and just use the blade to keep like cheating or whatever, back kicking and all that. And I was like, oh, to beat the game, you got to cheat the game. Woo! Yeah. No. I, I, I was lucky. <laughs> I got it for my birthday that year. It came out, did it come out October 94 for home consoles, I think? Or September, October 94? And my birthday oh. was October. And or yes. October or something. Yep. Uh, yeah, I oh man, yeah. So I got I didn't have to rent it. I got lucky, um, but uh, I rented Mortal Kombat One on Genesis when it came out, and I, on on the home consoles, and I was not happy with it. I was disappointed. I thought it sucked, and that's because I didn't know how to do anything. <laughs> I didn't have the cheat codes. I didn't have the blood code. Yeah. I didn't have the fatalities. And when I got that at school from somebody. Then I was like, okay, well, let me wrench it again. Maybe I'll actually enjoy it this time. Now that I got this blood code. and Because, uh, man, without the blood code and, and fatalities, that, it absolutely sucked. And I was like, yeah, I, I was looking at the, the Greek, instruction book. Greek. I go, I was like, well, the instruction book don't tell me the finishing moves. How am I supposed to know the finishing moves? This sucks. This is stupid. And I took it back that same night, disappointed over the hype. And then I got the uh, the codes and fatalities from someone at school when I was like oh well then now that I know what to do let me try that again and oh boy yeah when I rented my se- second time then it became an ECW rental because day and night day and night I played it all different. night long man it was good more come out one of Genesis it was uh probably the first game I rented that was I have a bad and good experience with because the first rental uh, my first time renting it sucked because I didn't know how to play it I have the codes and stuff fatalities then the second time, once it had the power, then oh, wow. it was ECW. Get the power, Nintendo power. No way to say a game. Never mind. Speaking Whoop. of, uh, Mortal Kombat just celebrated its 30th anniversary late last year. But the 30th anniversary of the of Moral Monday is next year. Oh, this year, September. September 2023, the 30th anniversary of Mortal Monday. That's ECW. That's I'm going to do a stream. Uh, related to that, uh, hopefully on that same day, September 13th, if that's the date, if I remember correctly. So, yeah. No worries, anyway. I'll correct you. It's this date, you idiot. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, one star power. <laughs> yes. And, yeah, back then, me and my <laughs> friends would argue with each other. There were Street Fighter fans and Mortal Kombat fans, fanboys. I was one of the Street mm-hmm. Fighter fanboys, and I would defend Street Fighter over Mortal Kombat, even though I loved Mortal Kombat also. But we argued, oh, Street Fighter's better because it has more moves, better music. No, Mortal Kombat's better because of fatalities and blood. And then, so the, the great debate at the time and the feud between those two series, it was, it was good times. I mean, in all honesty, Street Fighter is better. Instinct, but I never rented it. Bought it. Yeah. Straight up. But that was 95. Street Fighter for the win. Yeah, I agree. Um, I rented... As a kid, I did I did rent Turbo and Special Champion Edition for uh, Genesis. Um, those two, that was fun. I eventually got Special Champion Edition for Christmas, but I would rent uh, that and a Street Fighter Two Turbo at one point. I think I rented for a little bit, and I rented Super Street Fighter a lot until I finally got that for Christmas the following year. So, yeah, that was. Uh, I rent those you games mean? a lot. Uh, well, there was a place I told Jamie about this a rental place called Flix back then. Yep. Um, now they had a promotion where I think well I think a lot of places might have done this, but Flix in particular, on your fifteenth rental, it's free. Whoa! So, 
so I would rent a lot, and I would get a lot of those free rentals because I would I lived down the street from the place. I would walk there and rent whenever I could, whenever I save up money for my allowance or if my dad wanted to rent me something or whatever. I would, uh, yeah, I would rent there so often. So sometimes I, <clears throat> I would get those free, that 15th rental, and uh, that was cool. Um, yeah. yeah, it's like a subway card. Yeah, you were yeah. hardcore with those rentals. Yeah, like uh, <laughs> yeah, like Elaine was from Seinfeld. I ate all yeah, these, all yeah, these yeah, sandwiches. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I want the free. I want the atomic sub. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It sucks, but I don't care. I gotta get it. Yeah. I have to have it. And then when uh she earned it, she they could give it to her because I think they couldn't make it or something like that. I forgot. She's like, oh yeah, no, oh. it was the phone number. It was the uh the jacket. Oh guy yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, she wrote down her fake <laughs> phone number. Yeah, the denim vest. Guy. Yeah, yeah. That was, yeah, there you go. Yeah, the guy goes, lady, I can make you a sandwich. Yeah, I want the one that I earned. I, I put up a lot and I ate a lot of crap to get to this point. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was uh, fucking Festivus. Yeah. Yeah, Festivus, yeah. The feats of less. ECW. <laughs> okay. We didn't rent that. that that's got to be another podcast for another time, Seinfeld. Sure. Have we not done that yet? <laughs> Probably because me and you are the only ones here. on this channel that know about it. <laughs> but uh shoot me and you can do it then we can hold it down talk about Seinfeld but, we uh, have <laughs> well I mean like dedicated it's, it's not recording <laughs> yeah 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 yeah. now introducing in the middle of the podcast Seinfeld podcast so that, that so those are listening that's a possibility in the future Seinfeld I know Jeff yeah. man, I don't, Jeff would probably love to be a part of that because he loves Seinfeld I watched yeah, the last well, season the week yeah, as he stays awake, yeah. And don't fall off oh, his yeah. chair. Well, he's here, but he's just asleep. Wake up, Jeff. And it's not freaking uh, drunk to where he'll say stuff that I don't want to be hey. on the show. Gotta yeah, but at least up. you you wore <laughs> control of your liquor. He was not. He's but not. that's a different story for another time. Yeah. Uh, but, don't pull a Jeff. <clears throat> yeah. Well, or don't pull a Mexico and get good at uh, re recording audio. No, I'm kidding. Uh <laughs> oh, uh, all right. So I do want to pull uh, Red Giraffe. Um, as far as I remember, uh, again, this is back 90, 91. Oh, God, I'm old. Um, there was like a uh, stipulation. That I'm probably using that word wrong. But if you didn't like the game that you were renting and it was within that 24-hour period, you could bring that game back and grab another one. But it was only a twenty-four hour period. Yeah, I think uh, I think I think Flix did that because I remember I went <laughs> rented one airplane fighter jet game on Genesis. I think I don't know, I forgot what it was, but it was boring as hell. And well, yeah, I, I, so I took that back, and yeah, Mortal Kombat one. Like I said, I took it back that night because um, I, okay. I did yeah. not uh, enjoy it because I didn't know how to play it yet. And um, yeah, so, so yeah, some places did that. I don't know. Did Blockbuster? Uh, did, did you just say Blockbuster did it, or you know, I'm not sure. I'm 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 not sure on that one. I, 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 I not that I can remember. No, Red Giraffe specifically. Uh, Mr. Video didn't do that, but oh well, they went out of business. Yeah. All right, uh, Jamie, you got another rental? Ah, uh, sure. Um, Et. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> wow. <laughs> ETCW? Uh, no. Yeah, I've never rented an, an Atari game. In fact, if Mur yeah, Murmury, yep, there we go. <laughs> so if memory serves me, and if I'm so going to say some shit like Murmury, it doesn't. Um, I don't think that I ever rented an Atari game. Uh, be it. Yeah. 600, 5200. Yeah, me either. They goddamn made links. Um, Jaguar. Uh, links to the past. <laughs> Jaguar. Let's play some Jag. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh man, come on! You, you, you're not that old. You uh, let's see here. Um, yeah, I did rip Shadowgate. Oh, cool. Um, and also Deja Vu. Um, I've heard Shadowgate. Sounds familiar. Uh, that's, that's, that's all that my rusted old memory has, uh, for this court. You don't yeah. have deja vu of that game? 
not Phil. Um, anyway. Well, like Deja Vu. Deja Vu. Oh. Wow, cool. You rented Shellgate. Um, I discovered that game through a friend. Oh. Um, I think that's how I discovered it. Yeah, he had it first. I think that's how I discovered it. Deja Vu, I didn't, uh, never played that game until I became an adult years later, and I did on YouTube. Awesome. Yes, okay. I in my youth. Yeah, I bet. So, what was that? That was a fun night. Was it playing Shellgate? Did it kind of spook you a little bit? Uh, yes, I, I enjoyed that very much. Um, in fact, I believe I rented it twice. Um, Deja Vu was, uh, eh. I'll, I'll go out and play. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Deja Vu was, I, it was a good game, but it just it just wasn't, uh, I don't think it was as fun as Shellgate and, and Uninvited. Um, all right, uh, Mexico. All right, let's see. Ranto. Let's see, so I've done Nintendo, Super Nintendo. Guess we can move on to the 32 bit era. This is when I started renting from Blockbuster because uh, the local video place that I would go to, we had moved. So this is uh, the journey of uh, Blockbuster, which was Be Kind, Rewind. If anybody remembers that. Yep. Nobody. yep. We're going to charge your ass. Yeah. Yeah. My dad got into a whole situation with that or whatever, too. The guy told him, too. He's like, hey, man, you didn't rewind your tape. And my dad's, like, arguing with him. My dad's a big guy. He's like, hey, I did rewind my tape. And the guy's like, no, you didn't. My dad's all, kick your ass. When do you get off of work? And that was an interesting <laughs> well. subject. But that could be for something else. <laughs> and but, uh, just to add on that real quick, <laughs> um, every blockbuster that I remember back even in the late 80s had a video cassette rewind. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I do remember those. We're going to charge you to do this. Yeah. But yeah. My dad was thrilled about that. He had some other. other Dad's why they're out of business. Say. Fuck them. It's, he said, I not. hope you guys go out of business. And that guy said, We're yeah. Blockbuster. We're the biggest movie chain in the world. We'll never go out of business. Well, look mm. at how things are now. Yep. A time changed. Boom. Now, Netflix. Um, <laughs> Netflix is kind of in trouble, but anyway. Oh yeah. yeah. Hey, there's podcasts right there someday, maybe. Yep. The fall of Netflix. I, I, I don't even think they have a rental service anymore. I think it's just it's full streaming. Yeah, it is. I, I looked it up. I was like, oh man, they got rid of the DVDs. They sold them all off. Mm. Um, um. Oh, go ahead. I, I'll go ahead. Oh no, I was just gonna say. Um, so. Uh, for the 32-bit era, that's when I started renting games from uh, the uh, Blockbuster. And this is a horrible one that I rented. It was um, Independence Day, and it was ah. for the Sega Saturn. It was horrible. Oh. It was so bad that, yes, same day return. I, I returned that game, and I was just, like, horrible. And the guy tried to hype it up for me, saying, yeah, man, it's just like the movie. You play through this and that. And, boy, if I ever saw that guy again, I would uh, give him a right hand or something or just kick him in the balls or something. Yeah, he tried to hype the game up, and I ran it, and I'm just like playing into it. It was, it was, it's one of the most sorriest rentals I ever had. And about after an hour, Blockbuster was like about a mile away. I got on my bike and I, I returned it. I was like, there's no way I'm playing this game all weekend. Well, to be fair, he was probably told by his boss to maybe hype up certain games. I don't know, because you know, how, yeah, you know, like, I, I agree with that. Like GameStop I mean, was kind of like that. Like they might say, oh yeah, their boss pressured them hype this game up, even though. No, even though it's going to suck or hype up Hello yeah. Kitty or whatever. Oh, yeah. Well, I can you see gotta that. Yeah. Declare independence from that piece of shit. Oh, did David yeah. GM review that? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, he did. Yeah. And it just brought back bad, bad memories. That, that was the hard thing was you said Independence Day and then you said Second Saturday. Yep. Ah. And it was, yep. It was, it was just all bad. It was all, a whole bad of bad. I was just like, ugh. Oh, I got rid of that console as soon as I could. Well, so it was not a good experience and all. There's just too many bad games for that console. And not too many good games. That was horrible about that, yeah. No Independence Day that I wasn't about to let that ruin my weekend. I returned that game back the same day. I didn't care. I had to ride my I was a kid or whatever. I rode my bike all the way back to Blockbuster or whatever and dropped the game off and that was that. Yeah. Yeah. With a vengeance. Screw yeah. that game. Screw that guy, too. But like you said, Ron, um, 
He was probably just hyping it up because the the game's not gonna make. They're not gonna make no money for the game sitting on the shelf. So they got yeah, what they wanted, they which probably, was money. Yeah, told to hype it up. Or I remember my friend Venom Twenty Two. He was trying to rent uh, South Park for sixty four, and he called. Uh, I think it was Toys R Us. He called. Uh, yeah, do you guys have? No, he was trying to buy it. Do you guys have South Park for Nintendo sixty four? And the guy said, "No, but we got we have Star Wars though." <laughs> that's not what I asked. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, but that's not what I'm asking for. Like, hey, so I was like, why would he say that? He's probably pressured to push Star Wars or whatever. I don't know if it's by that time, Shadows the Empire was old, I think. So it was like it's not new. So I don't, I remember, I don't remember what the Star Wars game on sixty four that might have been. Yeah, he had a lightsaber uh, to his throat or whatever. He had to say it. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, there was like three games. Yeah, I only remember Shadows of the Empire for sixty four. There's a lost title too, so I don't. Uh, but but it's just weird. Like uh, it'd be understandable if he was asking about a Star Wars game, but it was not even a Star Wars related question. Yeah, yeah those things aren't anywhere near it. It was just like so. It just seemed random and weird. No, we got Star Wars though. And I remember one night I called. Uh, it was late at night. I, I remember it was Target, Kmart. It was not Walmart. It was another store similar that stayed up. That stayed up. That stayed open uh, 24 <laughs> hours. So me being, I don't know how old it was, 12 years old in my room, and I just wanted to call and uh, ask how much Sonic the Hedgehog 2 was. I was hoping to buy it or get it for Christmas. I forgot. Yeah. So old guy uh, answered the phone. I, I go, yeah, do you uh, have Sonic the Hedgehog 2? Uh, yeah, do you have Sonic the Hedgehog 2? Hedgehog 2? What? Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Ah, hold on. And I forgot what, what, exactly what he said after that, but I I was like, <laughs> Hedgehog 2, Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Does this guy not know anything about video? He probably don't. He's two, it's 2 a.m. <laughs> and he was probably <laughs> someone that the video game department was closed, right? It's 2 a.m. Someone working overnight cashier uh, uh, position, answering the phone, uh, and just not knowing what the heck I'm talking about. <laughs> it was just funny hearing that uh uh, hedgehog too? What? <laughs> like he had a hard time here. <laughs> Speak up, Sonny. You talk about a hedgehog. What about a hedgehog? He was playing Magnavox. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Ron Moore trolling people before it became popular. I wasn't even trying to troll. I was just asking <laughs> legitimate I'm questions. Just and I was, was like, hedgehog too? It's not like an angel with throat <laughs> cancer or something. Like, um, <laughs> If Arch Archangel Zero's grandpa was answering the phone. What was that hedgehog too? Uh, 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 hold on a second. Uh, uh. Um, uh, I don't know. Was it, is it your turn, Mexico? Uh, I thought it just went with did, the just, Independence did you Day. Just, yeah. Oh yeah, you did. I guess it's my turn then. Um, uh, well, I mean, we can kind of jump in any time if we really have something we want to talk about because we're kind of all over the place. But I just kind of don't yeah, want to yeah. talk too <laughs> much fun. and take over. I'm the host. I take over. Uh, the whole show, y'all just here to listen. No, um, but go ahead, yeah, Jamie. but I got something. Go ahead. This is going on to the uh, later years, which is still like 20 years ago. But anyways, family video. Ooh. That was the spot where I was talking about earlier about PS2 games. Ratchet and Clank. I Ooh. love that. Um, I've never played those. I rented almost every Ratchet and Clank, and then have almost bought every Ratchet and Clank. I, I love that entire fucking series, except for the uh, the the the, the beat 'em up bullshit. Oh, uh, okay. And I don't remember the name right now, of course, because I'm old and drunk. Um, what's all this Ratchet out here? <laughs> yeah, you, you're getting all clanky with me. What the what? <laughs> Um, and, and so of course, uh, yeah, I, I, I would never dare renting a, uh, nor a PS5, PS5 console. I'll, I'll get it right eventually. Fike. <laughs> nor the Ratchet and Clank that is only exclusive to the PS5. Um, I have been debating whether to purchase a PS5, which is, uh, yeah, what, 500 bucks? Cheapest I seen was four forty nine. <laughs> I don't know if that's worth it. 
Uh, Maybe. Uh, we'll see. For one game, maybe. Uh, uh, I don't know. Yeah. Ratchet motherfucking clank. Clanks are ratchet up in this motherfucker. <laughs> ratchet, yeah. That, <laughs> that game's you ratchet. Do. Yeah. <laughs> They're great. The, the the story, the, the they're, they're fun. You know, they're uh, family friendly. Um, you know, because I'm Mister Family Friendly over here. But yeah, <laughs> it's a lot of fun. It's it's a, a joy to play. Mister ECW. You you. Um. Okay. Get into one of the good rentals now that I remember. Well, I, I did mention some good ones already, but Turtles and Tom. Oh, um, 1992, 93-ish is when I rented it, played it. Uh, I go, there's a Ninja Turtles 4? Are you kidding me? A Ninja Turtles 4? What? Turtles and Tom on Super Nintendo? So I definitely grabbed it and rented it real quick. And me and my friends played that. And we got to the Technodrome quick. And I go, don't tell me this. that's it? That's in the game already? And then, nope, you... And we haven't traveled through time yet either. <laughs> like, what? And then nope, we get sucked into the portal, go through time, all those different stages. Oh, man, it was fun. We had a great weekend with that. And disappointing, though, you know, a lot of times I start the game on easy. Oh, you can't see the ending. You got to beat on uh, – no, it says play on normal. I did it. Oh, you got to be on hard. That's cool. I'm like, come that. on, man. Yeah. Come on, Konami. That's you, cool. Um, and, That's the Double Dragon 2 shit. Yeah. But even, oh, yeah. But even on hard, Turtles and Time wasn't that hard. Um, but man, it, it was, that was a fun rental turtles in time. So fun to play. That was where I, I first fell in love with that game and became one of my favorites of all time. Yeah. Turtles in time. One of my top favorite rental memories. That was one I wanted to rent, but every time I went, it was always checked out. So it pissed me off. I I'd bet. Like, yeah. I was like mad. Do you guys have turtles in time? No. Yeah. When does it come back? Let me look at the computer. No, I'm checking. <laughs> that reminds me of in back in uh, 2020 when I did a stream of Turtles in Time. Well, I got to that futuristic stage, and it took place in 2020. I was like, whoa. What a coincidence. Hey, it's 2020. <laughs> Where the future is now, and it looks nothing like it does in the game. You got, <laughs> you got, you got uh, COVID uh, floating around, people wearing face masks, <laughs> and then just uh, – Oh yeah, not a uh, fun year overall. Everybody in lockdown. Yeah, and uh, Hurt you. of course, as a kid, we didn't imagine dealing with that. Once we get to 2020, right? We'll just think of futuristic floating cars and futuristic-looking buildings, and we're on Mars by now, colonizing Mars by now. Nope, we're still talking about colonizing <laughs> Mars. Um, and but yeah, that was that was fun to, to see that, and uh, I think after that. Starbase took place in the year 2100 or something. We'll be long gone by then. But should there be people living up to that point still playing, uh, going back and playing this game? Or like kids, grandkids, great grandkids, whatever, discover Turtles in Time. Oh, cool. The year 2178. That's the year we're at now. <laughs> and probably no, nothing <laughs> like it does in the game. We're probably still trying to talk about colonizing Mars or whatever. But uh, no floating cars either. Uh, but yeah, it'll uh, happen. Just not in our lifetime. Yeah. But turtles and time. Uh, yeah, definitely ECW, uh, ECW rental. What do, you, sure. what do you say, Jay, man? Oh man. It's my turn. Again. I saw what you did. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Let's see here. Uh, Barbie. Oh no, we already talked about that. Oh, <laughs> Yo-Yo Ma for the NES. A Yo-Yo Ma. That was it. No. Um, yeah, my my brain is right. Yo-Yo Ma. The, Ma. Uh, the party 8600. There, there it is. 8600. <laughs> Yo-Yo Ma. There's a game called Yo-Yo Ma after the cellist. What about Yo-Noi? Yo-Noi. Oh, I remember that. that. Yep, I uh, I don't think I rented that, but my friend had it, and, and we played it. Hard game, frustrating BS, but great game. I thought it was pretty good. I did have a fun weekend with that. Um, yeah, I, I I know you uh, mentioned it earlier, but it was around the same time as uh, I rented Bucky O'Hare. 
Uh, and I, I consider them to be quite similar. But giving the edge to Bucky O'Hare, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Oh, shit, I got another one. Uh, uh, Tiny <laughs> Toons Avenger. I never played that one. Great game. I believe another Konami. Great fucking game. Oh, cool. Yeah, I, I should check that out. Um, Dizzy, abs, all that. Have you played Darkwing Duck? Uh, I played it for the fucking Turbo Rider 16 and it stuck fucking ass. <laughs> no, I, I never played that one. But I never rented it. No. No. Um, Darkwing oh. Duck is not bad. It's just not quite as good as DuckTales. But uh, I speaking of, I did rent, I think I rented both DuckTales 1 and 2. Oh. For um, yeah, I, I never rented DuckTales. Um, my dad just got it like in a in, in a trade. Yeah, I, I rented. Uh, I know for That's sure I rented the second one. I think I think I did rent both of them. Yeah, game. yeah. Th- that was those are good rentals. Dotales two not as good, but still good. Soundtrack freaking good. Um, not as good as the Moon music, but still good. Um, yeah, th- those those are pretty fun rentals. Uh, Dotales one and two. Uh, Ernest. All right. Let's see. All right, let's moving on to. Okay, let's go to a good video game rental. The this is one that I did like or whatever, and that was well, I wasn't very good at it, but it was still a fun game. It was all hyped up, everything. But uh, more combat trilogy, that was actually pretty fun because I it had the all the characters and everything. That was fun. I never really played past uh, that, that much Mortal Kombat. Past Mortal Kombat three. Uh, technically, it's just another upgrade, or it's basically three, but they just threw everybody in there, and it's it's not four, but yeah, it it, it the characters that were missing from Mortal Kombat two, and they they just added them, and it was weird too because they had versions of uh Mortal Kombat characters from Mortal Kombat one, I believe they had. Raiden from Mortal Kombat 1. You could be his Mortal Kombat 2 version and Mortal Kombat 1 version, which I thought at the time was cool because I was like, I was like, cool, I could be Raiden from Mortal Kombat 1 and fight everybody. But uh, Raiden, yeah, I'm not very good at him. But I like the huge roster of characters. The fact that you could be the bosses. And uh, at that time, too, when I had got it, too, I had a friend that had this thing that would just make the most awful noise. And we would look up codes on the internet. And it was so it's awesome because we were able to find the fatalities, do everything, enter all the cheats. It was it made for a video a very good rental. And I had a friend that stayed over that weekend too when I rented the game. So we just pretty much played that game all night. Found out all the secret fighters, everything. It was like one of the best video game rentals. Oh nice. But it's essentially just an upgrade of uh, Mortal Kombat 3. They just like, all right, well, let's just do a Capcom and make another Mortal Kombat 3. <laughs> yeah. Well, speaking and of that. What was that? And then 16. <laughs> and 16. What, Mortal Kombat 16? What? Coming out soon. Oh, well, come on. Like, there haven't been as many sequels. Well, Mortal Kombat 12 Street is Fighter. coming out soon. Yeah. See? Street Fighter yeah, 6. Uh, yeah. Um, I'm going to have the Sweet 16. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet, I ain't here. Yeah. Oh. The Nico Sweet 16. <laughs> yeah. Um, and what else? I, I'm trying to think of any more. I know there's more. It's hard to. I never prepare for these shows anymore. I just just do it live. Well, not live. But we're not live. Yep. Sing, well, right. Seemingly, notes, but not, seemingly we're live, but it's a premiere. As your people are watching this, it's a premiere. Um, and I try to think what else. Uh, I don't. You, you guys go. I got to think of maybe at least a few more rentals. I got some. Go ahead. Kid Icarus. Whoa. Ooh. Great. And game. This was back in like eighty-eight, nineteen eighty-eight. Before anybody listening to this was ever even born, probably. <laughs> hey, I was around. Uh, yeah, um, like I was saying before, my dad traded something and got a Nintendo um, in like 
eight games, I believe. Um, from what I remember, it was Top Gun, RC Pro Am, uh, of course, Super Mario Brothers, Duck Hunt, um, and and oh, Gunsmoke, uh, and and some other shit. Anyways, um, so we went to a, a rental store. Don't remember what the fuck it was. Um, and rented Kid Icarus. And that one was all right. Um, eh. But the funny thing was, we went back and got Super Pitfall. Oh, <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> and my dad got so mad at that game, he threw it in the garbage. I am not kidding. <laughs> the rental? Yes. Oh, I don't even know well, if he where took the it game back. belongs. Where the game belongs. <laughs> yeah. But really, that was like in, yeah, it had to have been like 88. Oh, God, that was so long ago. But he threw it in the garbage. <laughs> yeah, not surprised. Yeah, I don't blame him. Like, never... he is the, 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 the original angry Nintendo dad. Yeah. <laughs> the angry Nintendo dad. I never played that game, oh, but I've seen cock, it. Oh, you cock, good Jesus. Wow. <laughs> and at first I was scared, you know, because I was like a nine year old kid, but <laughs> for a little bit it was, it was actually funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Okay, I just thought of another bad rental. Uh, this horrible, I think it's two of them actually that just came to mind. The two fighting games for Genesis Street Smart and Slaughter Sport. Oh god, I've heard of. Slaughter. No, I was saying an East Watt. But... No, not East Watt. East Watt actually someone enjoyed. Um, but these two fighting games, oh, Street Smart, nothing smart about it, and uh, freaking Slaughter Sport, where the final boss is a guy with a tongue that comes out comes out of his gut. Um, what the? The what game the... looked complete garbage. It was it played like complete garbage. Did not enjoy it at all. Uh, it, uh yeah. It's just especially Slaughter Sport. That was even worse. Um, we had very rarely, dang it, rarely, we had barely touched upon that game when we talked about um, our favorite, was our favorite beat em ups and fighting games podcast we did back in 2013. J Man, if you remember that. A co- I do. A co worker of mine, Dustin, was in that with us. I and do. we I talked about Slaughter Sport sucking, how, how much bad, how bad it was, and he, he knew what I was talking about. He said, "Yeah, I know what game you talk about. That's bad." You do your pain. It was it was bad. It was not fun at all. Complete garbage. Definitely not one of the top fighting games I've ever played. And, but what was a fun fighting? Well, it's actually a wrestling game, kind of. Saturday Night Slam Masters for SNES. That, yes, that's I, awesome. I wasn't good at that game, but it was fun. Good music. Uh, you had one guy named Alexander the Greater, as in cheese grater. Um, he, they had to have made they had to have he had to have been inspired by Vader Big Van Vader he looked like kind of looked like Big Van Vader the hair coming out with that ma- that big mask over his, or uh, mask slash whatever the heck it was where he wore it over his head and smoke came out of it it was a Mastodon type uh, costume slash mask it was cool and his entrance, EC, good entrance music, and uh, other characters in the game, uh, just that this Rey Mysterio type guy named El Stingray. Uh, that that was a pretty fun. Uh, it's not so much wrestling; it's kind of like a combination of fighting and wrestling, kind of like WrestleMania, the arcade game, uh, is made by Capcom, and it was pretty good. Surprise twist! It was actually gold dust. Gold dust. <laughs> oh jeez. Stardust. Stardust. Oh, Poor guy. Me, he lost that rest. Yeah, don't get me started on that BS <laughs> last weekend. <laughs> Cody Rhodes making him. Hopefully, there's a redemption arc. I'm sure. Maybe they'll redeem him real soon. It better be. Yeah. But anyway. Wait, he's uh, still doing. Whoa. No. No. Wrestling? No. Cody. Cody Rhodes, not Dustin Rhodes. Oh, okay. All right. Dustin, brother, brother. Du- well, Dustin Rhodes actually still still does wrestle, I think, but he's not officially mm-hmm. retired yet. I think he's going to, though. Uh, he can still Jeez. go, by the way. He was still still pretty good for his age, Dustin. He is. I trip out on that. Yeah. It's fucking impressive. Yeah. And uh, so 
there might have been all it probably it's probably a lot more but i don't have too much time and i can't uh probably think of any off the top of my head uh unless you guys have some more mm, i just drew a blank <laughs> uh, i have a this wasn't a rental that i rented but it was one of my friends and i spent the night like which was a cool thing to do back in the day play video games eat pizza do all that but wrestlemania 2000 i never had a nintendo 64 but man that was like like what what can i say about that game if if you, oh, yeah. if you haven't seen that game then you're just man you're too young for this podcast but that was an awesome weekend <laughs> yeah oh yeah definitely WrestleMania Bob 2000. Knows what I'm talking about. yeah um i just remembered a game i also took back the same day forgotten worlds for sega genesis Oh, nah, I, I, I forgot about that one. Yeah, me too. I wish I could forget. It's for good forget, reason. Actually, but for good reason, you guys forgot about it. I think it was trying to be like Contra, but it wasn't good. Um, yeah, Forgotten Worlds, uh, easy to forget. Uh, what else? Um, oh, yeah, I think, I, yeah, I enjoyed renting Golden Axe 1 and 2 back then. That was, those are good rentals. Ooh. You didn't like Golden Axe? <laughs> no. Oh, man. I don't even like the arcade version. Well, I liked Golden Axe 1 and 2. I played those. Those are pretty good um i'm surprised we don't think we did that on s2k i know i did a little budget review of them but uh, uh no. s2k no. probably not uh I'll, I'll, no. i'm definitely going to stream those games in the future i did stream golden axe uh one and two back in 2017 when i first started streaming but i'm gonna stream them again it's been years i enjoy those games uh like a medieval streets of rage uh You'll made by the same star. company uh, j man <laughs> um and yeah uh, i think Oh, yeah, of course, I enjoyed renting Streets of Rage 1 and 2. Uh, those are fun nights with those games. Um, yeah. There was more. Uh, I just can't think of any more. I'm sure there's a lot more. I just So many I think I rented when I was a kid. Um, and, yeah, I mean, I might have rented uh, NBA Jam games, NBA Jam, and then Tournament Edition as well. I had uncles that rented those games, so I played with them, but. As for myself, I never ran into those games, but me and my friends replaced bets. Same in those here. Games. Um, Same here. Was, uh, there's there's so many other games I want to talk about, but I never rented them. My mom never rented them. Dad, me, my mom, me, my daddy. <laughs> okay, anyway. Points of reference. Yeah, I had yeah. other friends rent games, and I played with them. Those are other rentals that I've had to played with. The yeah, we're just hanging out with friends, and they already had the game. You know, there's so many other things that I want to mention, but they don't count as rentals. Ah, I got you. Yeah. Um, all right, so I believe that is it. I wish we could yep. go on longer, but uh, I think we run out of rentals. By now, I'm about to talk about and plus, I, I got to get off of here before long. And But yeah. Uh, R.I.P. Blockbuster. <laughs> yeah, R.I.P. Blockbuster. Isn't the one in Oregon Minus still the open? The one that's still around. Yeah, there's one still around, yeah. Like, what? <laughs> um, and so, yeah, I mean, I, a lot of fun rentals back in the day. I think I even rented Game Genie <laughs> for a while. Um, yes, 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 yes. Yeah, I rented yes. Game Genie to beat the first Golden Axe. That's, I, that's right. I remember. I beat Golden Axe 1 with Game Genie because I rented it on Genesis. Yeah, and so, um, oh, yeah, there so was a... Been good. You just got Game Genie instead. Yeah. There was a game called Airbuster. No. Yeah, Airbuster for Genesis. That was eh. Uh, it's kind of like Soul Deast, which is another rental of mine. That was a good space shoot 'em up. It's like uh, it's kind of like our type, our type type of game. Um, there was Fail. there was Buster Brothers, Super Buster Brothers, I think is what it was called, where you, you play as these Anger, kids and float in the air shooting stuff. I forgot. It is. It didn't seem that bad at all. It's pretty good. So there's a few honorable mentions, I guess, and uh. But yeah, so yeah, we had uh, a lot of fun uh, rentals for those who are old enough. Um, Good times and bad, though. If you're not around that time, you probably won't, probably won't really appreciate this uh, show because you not probably wouldn't care. Uh, yeah, you guys all stream your. Thing. <laughs> Wait, well, say it again. Everybody streams everything nowadays, or whatever. Yeah, like the yeah. games or whatever. You guys are lucky. Yeah. Well, I mean, it, but it was, it was still. Again, I mean, there's a, there's a fuck ton of video game memories on YouTube that anyone can check out if they choose to. They're probably gonna, yeah, <laughs> they're gonna watch streams. Yeah. But 
the, the, the information is there. Um, you can't get the nostalgia, of course. But yeah, yeah exactly. It's there. But at least and the love stays alive. Yes. And but it was fun yeah. though to go to actually go to those places and rent yes. these physical Let's copies see. of these games. Forward to. I mean, we're Let's do look forward there. to. Yeah. It'd I mean, be Monday, and you're waiting for Friday to go to the video store. I mean, please don't choose Doctor Jekyll, Mister Hyde. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, yeah, like as an adult now, I'm glad we have this technology and stuff. Yeah. But as a kid, I'm glad we didn't have that quite yet because it was fun to go back. Yeah, I mean, fun to go back. It's, at the time, it was fun to it's fun to look back and remember the times where. I mean, because like, yeah, some people say, "Oh, the internet and technology ruined everything." Well, they didn't really ruin everything, but what they mean is, at the time, like with everything, um, you know, wrestling. Even though you probably knew it was scripted anyway, you still didn't know the inner workings of backstage politics and what's going on and who's going to jump ship to this company and who's going to do this or. You know, back then, video games, you had only these video game magazines, if you could even, if you're even lucky enough to have access to one of those, to, mm-hmm. to get a glimpse of what game, that's why you rented games like Total Recall and, and, and uh, Roger Rabbit, you didn't know better, because you didn't see the reviews, and that's, that's why a lot of video game companies could not like it when, when we play, a, do a Let's Play or a review or a stream of a video game, and we talk bad about it, oh, well, you're, uh, not that we care now, because these games are old, but like the newer games that come out, any negative attention? Oh, you're ruining it for me. You're causing us, you're causing us, costing us money because people don't want to buy it now because you said it sucks. Um, but at the same time, it's a good thing to have. It could help boost sales of these new games if they're good. And you exactly. And so, just to, or even the old games that aren't being sold, except like pawn shops or uh, whatever, um, to go back and see these old games. Um, you could easily just look it up. And back then, I could not call the gameplay... Well, I did, but I got in trouble. The gameplay counselor's hotline. <laughs> um, I, 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 there was no internet back there. If there was, it wasn't... You know, internet started with the first website in 91. And so by that time, and there was it didn't grow to become the internet we know of today until a long time. So 900 numbers or long distance numbers is what you had to resort to uh, if you were allowed to call for gameplay help if you didn't know anybody in person to help you out with the game. Uh, back then, we didn't have the easy access technology at our fingertips like we do today. So back then, the, the magic of, of that back then was the the great unknown, just how you discover things at the time. And things as a kid, things were so new to you, the mystique surrounding certain video games and certain things, and video games in particular. I mean, you kind of took a gamble. You see, you saw the cover. It was their, it was their job to make the game look good in the cover, unless the cover oh, yeah. looked like crap. Uh, Mega Man Two, but <laughs> but even though the cover looked like crap, Mega Man Two, which had a good reason, it was a last minute thing that that, that was assigned to the artist. Um, you, but you played the game. It was great. So it could be the opposite. You could look at a game where the cover looks like complete garbage, and the game be great. But then you look at a game that has an awesome cover, like D- Deadly Towers. We got Fabio like, on the uh, cover. Planax. Yeah. You got Fabio With on the, the cover. The guy in the, the fucking... Oh, <laughs> yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. then the game is complete shit. Yeah. What the hell? Or you got Fabio on the cover of Deadly Towers, and then the game was complete garbage. Yeah. yeah. Like, what the heck? Or no, that, no, that was Iron Sword. Huh? That was Iron Sword with Fabio. Oh, Iron Sword. What, what was that? Okay. I rented that one. Oh, okay, but, Iron yeah. Sword. Yeah, you're right. Deadly Towers. What the the heck am I talking about? Well, there's, there's no, a guy holding a sword with long hair, picture. and it made me think it's of the Fabio. the Mandela effect or something. <laughs> but, um, Jeremy Ironside, what? No, um, and, I th- yeah, so back then, like, you had to gamble when you rented a game. Fast and a dude, you didn't know what to make of it. Zelda, you didn't know what to make of it, because the covers, they weren't bad. They were just like, oh, well, I don't know what to make of this game. Was but this you shit? get a gold cart. Yep. And back then, like, you just had to take a gamble or listen to about a word of mouth and uh, just and go to these physical places to rent these physical games. And that was a great era and a great time. But times change. Mm-hmm. And I'm all for te- te- technology and advancing and all that stuff. I'm grateful for technology today. But at the same time, I can see why people would say, oh, it ruined everything. 
Um, but at the same time, it depends on how you use it. Use it for evil or make the best of it and realize, you know, hey, it kind of would have been nice to have this technology back then to a degree because I remember when I was a kid, I, I wanted to, like, I, I had trouble. I was trying to beat Shadowgate, and I had to, when I had to stop calling Nintendo, I had to write letters to them, and that took a long time to get from Texas to Washington and back. Uh, I had to wait to get an answer on how to get past this certain room in Shadowgate. And I was like, man, I wish I had a computer or something that would allow me to just look up a game and, and, and tell me how to beat a game or whatever. Because I guess I was thinking of Nintendo gameplay counselors because I knew that's what they did. They had a computer in front of them, and they would just look it up on how to beat any game. I said, man, if I had that computer, that would be cool. If I had a computer just to look up how to beat whatever game. And, well, you think about it. Like, And I always thought about, I always wanted to make a live, or work, I always wanted to work at Nintendo Gameplay Counselors because of, of that and be able to play games for a living while helping people on the phone and take games home and rent them whenever I want as a perk of working there. And I thought about that today. I said, man, you know what? I'm actually kind of living the dream. Like, if I want to play a game, uh, I can't make a living doing it, but I can still make a little bit of revenue and do it as a fun hobby, playing a game while talking to people. And if I'm having trouble with it and I can't get past a certain point of a game, I could just look it up. I don't have to call, I don't have to call the phone number. I don't have to write a letter. It's right That's, there. Yeah. And so I now growing up, kind of living that dream, living part of that dream because of technology. Um, You're renting that dream. Yeah, renting the dream, yeah. So, man, like, uh, but looking back on it, it's a more simpler time, especially as a kid, when things were new to you. And just the, 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 the console wars and renting a game for the weekend, whether it be good or bad, you had to gamble, take a gamble on it uh, if you didn't know about the game. Those are good times. Video game rentals were a fun part of our childhood. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. If I can sum up on this sum bitch, I'd like to say that the essence was really curiosity and excitability of seeing a new wall of games as a young child. Fan fucking tastic. Yeah. Even if it was full lengths. I didn't rent that one. I, I uh, Thanks away to Nintendo Power. Um, <laughs> yeah. Found that actually at Toys R Us. There was a, like a, it looked kind of like a Trapper Keeper, but, but not. Anyways, it was great. It had a free six month subscription to Nintendo Power. This is, yeah, 89, whatever. And yeah, that, that magazine blew my mind. Um, that's how I found out about Maniac Mansion. And a lot of the games that I rented during that time. Um, now, of course, my mom, uh, you know, subbed back in, if you will. Sports Illustrated it um, and, and bought another year. So that, that was a great resource um, in, in, into what games that, well, she rented for me, of course. Uh, but yeah, otherwise, just seeing the the... the the titles. Um, I made a mistake on Fester's Quest. I let that one out. There you go. Um, yeah, a game that you were in. Bum, 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 you bum. rang a uh, uh, <laughs> bum jam, man. Um, no, I was Pugsley. Come on, you get yeah. You got to keep me as a little kid in in these fucking games. <laughs> no, you're. Well, would you rather be that or uh, the the uh, freaking butler and uh, Lurch? <laughs> yeah, Lurch. You rang, uh, uh, uh. you rang Mrs. Adams. Uh, uh, uh. Well, I'd, I'd, I'd rather be in with Morticia, to be honest. But <laughs> oh. <laughs> you know, hey. um, so, for those of you who are watching, have been listening, you probably already mentioned your favorite rentals in the chat. Uh, if Thank you're you. watching after the sure. premiere, uh, leave a comment and let us know what some of your favorite video game rentals are. And all right, so that is it. We're out of here. It was good to do one of these shows again. Hopefully, we can continue to do these uh, a little bit more often, maybe if not too often. But uh, sure. I have some ideas in the back of my head that I haven't mentioned to you guys yet. I don't want to spoil it here. 
But one of the ideas we did talk about maybe in the future was be a butthead podcast. Uh, and I forgot our favorite socks podcast. Seinfeld. No, so, yeah, Seinfeld. Yeah, Sein, there we go. Seinfeld. Mm -hmm. Gary Seinfeld. Yeah. That's a that's definitely one I'm looking forward to. Seinfeld. Seinfeld with Ryu. With Ryu. Yep. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. All right. So that is it. We out of here. Everybody have a good night. I'm Ron Moore. God bless and take care. Captain Shrimpy. Stay alive forever. Get good, kid.